hi guys welcome to my channel in today's sewing tutorial we'll be making this cute chitenga skirt uh, so it's a three layered chitenga skirt using two different types of fabric and two so for those who are new here please do subscribe click that red subscribe button and for those who've been here before thank you so much for joining so to make our skirt we'll be using these two different shades of chitenge which are the same design the blue plain two a measuring tape a scissors and pins as well as stiffener which will be ironed onto the top layer of the skirt and the band in addition we'll also be using our satin material as the lining for the top layer of the skirt so to make this skirt we'll be needing the waist measurement as well as the length of the skirt so as you can see uh, in the paper in the video the first tier of the skirt will be 22, the second tier will be 17 inches, and the third tier will be 12 inches. The waist measurement is 38, and we add 2 inches as sewing allowance for where we'll be adding the zip. Note that all the vertical measurements mentioned in this video already include sewing allowance. At this point, we're going to be using some basic mathematics. So we have our waist measurement, which is 40 inches, and we'll divide that by 6.28. So 6.28 is derived by simply multiplying 2 times pi r. So once we divide that, we're going to have 6.37 this is what we use to make the waist measurement but then to accommodate the waistband that we'll be sewing on to the skirt we will subtract 0 0.5 inches and the final result as you can see in the video is 5.87 so to get the full measurement that we'll be making on the material we simply add the length of each tier as we indicated at the beginning plus the 5.87. So we're going to be working with the material on Ford as you can see which is folded into four. To start off, we're going to measure out 5.87 and mark it off with the teller's chalk. Once the points are marked out like that, just connect them together. That will serve as your waistline. From there, mark out the 12 inches, which will be the first layer. From the 5.87 mark, mark out the 12 inches. This is for the first tier of the skirt as explained earlier. So just mark out those points and connect them. Then you are ready to cut. Now we'll be cutting out the waistband. We are cutting the waistband from the material which is folded in half. So we'll simply use half of the waist measurement which is about 20. So the 20 includes the sewing allowance. And the length of the waistband together once folded will remain at 2 inches. So we are measuring out a piece of material that's about 5 inches. The 5 inches includes an inch which will be used as sewing allowance to fold over on the edges.
to make the waistband stiff we'll be adding some stiffener which will just iron into the waistband before attaching it to the skirt so off camera i went and cut out a certain material which i'll use as lining for only the first year as well as the stiffener which i'll add into the first year just to make it firm and to make it uh, neat now we move on to cutting the two which will just be cut in long strips and we'll make gathers in it to attach to the skirt this is because it's not long enough to be cut in a secular style like the rest of the chitenga material From the two that we had i managed to cut three long strips which i'll just make gathers in it and then we'll attach to the skirt as the second tier now we move on to cutting the third tier which is the longest one at this point just ensure you fold your material in such a way that you do not waste material and then we'll be using the first tier to cut out the third one because the waist measurement is the same but we'll just measure out the length Once you ensure that the two materials are matching, just measure out the length for the longest tier. When this is done, you'll just mark it out with the tailor's chalk, but before that, just pin down your shorter length onto the material. Note that to cut the third tier, I had to fold the material in half, cut the front piece, then fold it in half again to cut the back piece. This is because 22 inches could not be accommodated when the material was folded like it was folded for the first tier.
so once you have completed cutting your material you should have two pieces of material like that for the third tier so to sew the skirt you need to sew on the side seams so you can sew the two sides and cut a center where you attach the zip or you can use one of the open sides as the center back where you attach the zip so we have come to the end of our tutorial this is just the cutting of the skirt please do look out for the video of where we'll be sewing the skirt thank you so much for watching please do subscribe and do come back for the next video